One Mexican restaurant chain wanted to acquire another. The would-be buyer's financial position changed, so the restaurants found themselves taking court orders instead of dinner orders in W.R. Grace & Company v. Taco Tico Acquisition Corporation. Grace owned and operated Del Taco restaurants. Taco Tico also operated restaurants. Tico wanted to buy Del Taco. After some negotiation and with the help of attorneys, the parties signed a non-binding letter of intent. Tico would lease Del Taco locations for 15 years. Then, Tico would have the option to buy Del Taco. The letter included a disclaimer stating that neither Tico nor Del Taco could rely on representations the transaction would go forward. The parties also executed a separate agreement. Under this agreement, Tico would manage the operation of Del Taco for $10 a month during the time that Tico worked to acquire Del Taco. Tico began managing Del Taco. Tico began struggling financially, so it stopped trying to acquire Del Taco under the latter's terms. Tico wanted different terms. Del Taco told Tico that the acquisition wouldn't go forward. Tico sued Grace and Del Taco, bringing several claims including fraud, rescission, promissory estoppel, and quantum merowit. Tico based its promissory estoppel claim on Del Taco's representations the deal would go through. The quantum merowit claim, also known as an unjust enrichment claim, arose out of Tico's work managing Del Taco locations for $10 per month. The jury found for Del Taco on Tico's fraud and rescission claims, but found for Tico on its promissory estoppel and quantum merowit claims. During trial, Del Taco had filed a motion for directed verdict, which the court denied. Del Taco had argued that, with Tico's promissory estoppel claim, the party's written agreement disclaimed reliance on any representations about consummating the deal. So Tico couldn't argue it reasonably relied on statements that the deal would go forward. With the quantum Merowit claim, Del Taco argued that Tico agreed to the $10 per month management fee in a contract. Del Taco appealed to the Georgia Court of Appeals.